Back in high school, I used to have a friend that deeply believed RAM was the most essential part of the computer in terms of performance. We used to joke with him saying stuff like, oh, so you're saying a Pentium 4 laptop with 64GB of RAM will be infinitely more powerful than a Xeon workstation with 8GB? And he'd say yes, definitely, because RAM is essential to performance. My god, this guy knew nothing about computers. But maybe, just maybe, he was right. Can just adding RAM really improve the gaming performance of an old PC? Today's test subject is Draenor, which is one of the slower PCs under my roof. It may not play Crisis or render 4K video, but it has some charm to it, and I like to have a few older PCs around as I still believe Windows XP is the best thing Microsoft ever did. I'd put it on every PC I own if they still made drivers for it. But this machine is perfect for this video though because any performance improvement whatsoever would be nice to see with its aging hardware. It runs a single core Pentium 4 at 2.4 GHz with a whopping 512 MB of RAM, Windows XP Service Pack 2 and integrated Intel 945GL graphics. Oh yes, Draenor was once upon a time a pretty powerful PC. Now since it uses the old PCI slots, finding it a graphics card is something I have not even thought about trying to do. As most graphics cards that are compatible with it, people on eBay seem to believe are antiques that are worth more than the computer itself. So how does the machine perform alone with its 512 megabytes of RAM? Quake 3 Arena is playable at lower settings and at a resolution of about 1024 by 768. Frame rates go as high as 24 frames per second and dip to 12 FPS at their lowest, but it usually stays around 17. Halo running at the lowest settings at a resolution of 800 by 600 is not smooth, but certainly playable, with the FPS hitting as high as 64 and as low as 19, with an average of about 29. When I was in school, we literally adapted to playing Halo at these kind of frame rates, as the PCs at school weren't exactly built for gaming. So playing Halo like this is totally natural to me for this reason. Now CS 1.6 at about one at the same resolution of 1024 by 768 on the normal setting pulls in around 17 FPS at its highest and 9 FPS at its lowest, with an average of around 13. Now, attempting to play HD video just simply didn't happen. Now let's see if adding 2GB of RAM to this beast can change any of these numbers. Tearing open the case and inserting our 2 dibs of RAM was a breeze, and it delights me to see that ingenious Dell cooling system. One thing to remember if upgrading a computer of this vintage is that you cannot just put off-the-shelf DDR3 RAM into it. A good way to tell is the size of the pins. As you can see here, the DDR1 RAM has considerably larger pins than the newer stuff. Now, at first the RAM wasn't in properly, but after taking a look at Dell's genius error light system, we could see we just had to reseat it. After fixing that, we were back in Windows. Taking a quick check of the properties to make, to make sure it all checked out. And now we jump into games to see if we've managed to change anything. Quake 3 now gives us 27 FPS at the highest and 13 FPS at the lowest. Just by adding the extra 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, we got an extra six frames per second at the fastest and very little change at the lower end but we're getting a whole two more frames per second on the average with it staying around 19 FPS for a majority of the bench. Halo in a slightly more stressful area pushed out 37 FPS at its best and 17 FPS at its worst, staying at around 25 a majority of the time. It's most likely due to the area I was in, but there is little difference in Halo. This game is fairly light on PCs anyway though, considering it was smooth even when running on the 733MHz Pentium 3 in the original Xbox. Now, 
CS 1.6 showed absolutely no difference, pulling the very same 17 FPS at its best and 9 FPS at its worst, still mostly hanging around 13. Attempting to play HD video once again met with the same defeat, causing the entire computer to just give up and shut itself down. I've seen computers freeze, blue screen, but never just give up and turn off like this. Poor computer, it's out of its league. So, was my old school friend right? Can simply putting a little extra RAM into an old PC turn it into a beast? No, it can't. Sadly, the slow CPU and the weak graphics are holding this old Dell back. If you really want to revive an old computer like this into a speedy gaming machine, you are better to reinstall a clean copy of Windows or get it a newer graphics card. Simply getting RAM really won't improve a whole lot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you liked the video or if I got some technical specification or fact wrong in the comments section. And do subscribe if you like this kind of goofy computer content and enjoy the rest of your day.